Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from Norwalk Community College in Norwalk, Connecticut, and today I am going to show you food art made easy. So we are going to carve this tomato into a rose. You take the tip of the tomato, not the core, not, not where it's connected to the stem, and just cut straight across. That's going to be the pedestal. The rose is going to sit on that. So then, make your turn. Okay, now, keep it thin. If the skin is too thick, the tomato skin or rose will not roll up properly. You should almost see the silver part of the knife through the skin. Not too thin, because it will be delicate, it could tear. Anyway, once you get comfortable, get the full Take the full length of the skin off all the way to get to the core end. So this is near done because I'm at the bottom. I'm going to take the skin that I just carved off the tomato and I'm going to lay the outside of the skin down on the board and I'm going to roll it starting from the end that I finished at. What we want to do is start from the end where I finished and that's going to be the center of the rose, the tomato rose, the, the, the bud. So let's get that nice and tight. And once you get it started, just kind of pivot it off this thumb. Just kind of roll it. You know, you can pull it taut every now and then. It starts to feel a little loose under your thumb. Fold that pedestal underneath. Tighten it up. There we go. Kind of wind it up. And that is tomato rose. And our next food art garnish, we will take this red onion and carve it into a mum, a flower. Now for the onion mum, what we're going to do is we're going to first carve a crown. We're going to separate this into two halves by a crown. So very important and with a little bit of pressure, but don't stab yourself. Go all the way to the center, okay, and then this way it'll come apart. I just want to make sure I get it so I don't have to go in there again, which I might have to do. Oh, all right, we're going to need that piece, so let me go in and get the rest of it and see where I didn't get. Okay, not bad. All right, so now we have both halves of the onion. Not quite half, but that's right. This will be a smaller flower and this will be a larger one. And I will show you how you separate the layers. Okay, so now let's separate the layers. Now this one's already got a split in it, so that separates easily. This one comes apart. What we're going to do is we're going to rebuild this. See, I'll start it right now. That's rebuilding it. All right, there we go. See how that gets built? There we go. And you can even just keep the center. So that just widens it. So you got two different styles of mum because you had two different halves. When they're grouped together on a buffet, they look really nice. And lastly, we will make scallion brushes out of the ends of these scallions. Cut off the end, cut it about here, go down about an inch from the base, and make your cuts. Try to keep them parallel. The vegetable or the scallion will force the knife to the side and so not every cut's going to be clean. And when that sits in water for just a couple of hours, what's going to happen is it's going to spread out. So the scallion brushes, after being in the water for even just an hour, perhaps two, will curl up and look just like this. So that concludes Food Art Garnishing Made Easy. I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from Norwalk Community College, Norwalk, Connecticut. And remember, it's just good cooking. <music>